that said, let me let's use this uh, let's use this uh, short straddle as an example. Okay, and I want to talk a bit about the probability numbers, um, how to use them, where they work, where they don't work. Um, very simply, I need to, the, you can see, the Analyze page is a good place to see them. There are three steps to see the probability of success at expiration. Three mouse clicks. Okay, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do, the, well, I don't know three mouse clicks. I'm going to show you this three times. Any questions, that's fine. I'd be happy to answer them after, the, after that. But I'm going to show it to you three times because th this stuff is 90% of what people want to do. I have my short strangle in here, okay? And I have plus one at expiration. So the lines I'm looking at of this black line shows today's performance. In other words, I don't make much money if the stock is right here. It doesn't change in value, but I lose money today if the stock makes a big move up or down. That's what that black line shows you. Uh, Matthew, can everybody see this green line? Or is it a little too, do you need some more contrast? Oh, no, we're good. We can see it. Ask me for, Matthew, ask me for more contrast. Go ahead, ask me. More contrast. We can hardly see More it. contrast. All right, can hardly see it. My God, there's too much snow up there. You're blind. <laughs> see this little, see this little thing? This little um, palette? Choose colors. Plus one at expiration. I don't want it green anymore. I want it uh, red, pink, hot pink for Valentine's Day. So if you have difficulty seeing some of the lines, especially, um, and I'll be the first person to admit, <clears throat> the Thinkorswim platform is not the most color customizable in the world. Um, our, the, if you want us to add a formula, the programmers can do that in about half an hour. If you want us to change the graphical interface, that can take months. Um, <laughs> that's just the way it is. And Matthew and everybody up there who's been with us for years have been asking forever, can you give us more contrast on some of these on some of these backgrounds? Well, in the Analyze page, we would show you this sort of dark blue line against the even darker blue uh, background didn't really work. So we added in this little palette control. Uh, let's make it yellow, kind of a bright yellow. There we go. Hit OK. And there's our nice PNL line. So I have plus one at expiration. What that shows me is today's graph and plus one at expiration. So it goes to the, it goes to the, the first expiration month of the position, in this case, March. Now, two things I want to do first. Well, one thing I want to do first. Probability date. Right now it's set to um, February 13th, today's date. Down here in the lower right-hand corner is today's date also. If there is no time between today and the, my, my evaluation date, there's nothing to calculate. So that's why you see these zeros up here, 0%, 0%, and 100%. Well, there's 100 with the stock right now at 533, um, there is 100% chance that it's going to be between these two uh, these two vertical dashed red lines. That's what that 100% means. Useless information. I need to change this probability date to the expiration date of the position, March 19th. Click that. Now I can start to see more meaningful numbers. So if the stock is below this vertical red line, this dashed red line, 10% probability that it's going to be below this level right here. 41% probability is going to be in between these red lines. 37% here, 11% up above here. Doesn't tell me what I need to know yet. Now I need to go to set slices, to break even, to March expiration, think just like that. Now I can see that between my break even points for this trade, which are around 501 and I don't know, 5, 569 or so, okay? that there is a 56% probability that Google is going to stay in between those break-even points by March expiration. There's a 20% chance it's going to be higher, 22% chance that it's going to be lower. All right, let's do that again. Let's do it with a different trade. Um, I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm looking at stuff like crude oil. 
you know, um, crude oil, I'm thinking, you know, has come down a little bit and has bounced up in the past few days. Uh, well, let's look at USO even. US, you don't even don't need a futures account to trade um, to trade USO, and it's it, it's a proxy for crude oil. Um, so if I were slightly bullish to not bearish on crude oil, uh, what would I do? Well, maybe in in uh, I could sell a put vertical. So how do I do that? Uh, let's click on this. Let's go and see the not the OPRA codes, let's go, notice by the way, I can change my drop down menus right here on the uh, trading platform, on the trade page, click that, and this is brand new by the way, um, option theoreticals, probability of expiring, okay, and I'm going to sell an option, let's sell the, uh, you know, 71, 72 put spread, what does this number mean here, 39.12, Theoretically, by March expiration in 32 days, crude oil has about a 40% chance, 39% probability, that is going to be below 72. Okay? That's what that number means. But let me show you what happens. Right-click, sell, vertical. And let's just, I'm not going to execute, so let's just analyze duplicate trade. No, actually, let's change it to the 7271. Okay, so I'm selling 10 of the 72 puts, buying 10 of the uh, 71 puts as a hedge, 34 cent credit. Let's analyze it. Click analyze duplicate trade. Here is my short vertical. Let's go through the steps again. Probability date. Make sure it's on Feb expiration. Okay. Set slices. Break even, 318. Oops, that's a future. That's right, coming 18th. So the probability of me making money is anywhere above my break even point. My break even point at about 7169, 7167, is 62%. 37% probability of being below that price. And that kind of conforms as if people like to do this in their head or if you like going to the uh, racetrack. If I sell a one-point put spread and take in a 34-cent credit, that that's basically a 66% probability of making money, roughly two-thirds, okay? If I sell a one-point put spread for about 30 cents or so. And the way you do that, just in your head, before you know we built the Analyze page, is we used to do this in our heads, and you say, what's my max loss on a short put spread is, in this case, 60, um, excuse me, um, uh, $66, $66 divided by the one, the width of the strike, 100 points, or 100, one point is $100, 66 divided by 100 is 66%. So theoretically, we have about a 66% chance of making money on this trade. Analyze page six, says 62. Why, is, why doesn't it work? Why is it different? Trade page says about 60, in other words, 61, okay? Because if there's a 61%, 39% probability of being in the money for the 72 strike, there is a 61% chance of being out of money. Why is this all different? 